So today's video is a little bit different. It's a niche website idea. So I'm going to give you an idea for a website. Um, I'm going to give you all the keywords, um, the methodology behind the keyword research. I'm going to show you how to create the articles for each of the uh, keywords we're going to target and give you some domain name ideas as well. So the niche idea is salaries. So people are searching all the time for how much do firefighters earn? How much do teachers earn? How much do SEOs earn? How much do uh, marketers earn? How much do administrators earn? How much do lawyers learn, earn? So what we want to do is create a website which is an authority on how much do each of these professions earn. Uh, the idea would be to create a new article for each profession and then you can run ads on these um, on these articles that Presumably, um, job sites will will pay decent money to run ads on on these kind of articles, and there may be other things like um, business opportunities, make money opportunities. You know, people looking for jobs and careers, um, they may be looking to better themselves, and there's there's a lot of opportunity for affiliate products as well. So, first of all, let's go to the Keyword Explorer in Ahrefs, and we want to find all the keywords to do with salaries, how much do people earn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to type in a few keyword ideas here. So first one is salary. And then, how much do, and then leave a gap and earn. Right, so this, gonna, this is going to bring up how much do firefighters earn, how much do teachers earn, how much do accountants earn, right? Because it's not phrase match, it's it's a um, it's broad match. So how much do earn will bring up everything with those four words in it. And the other one is how much do make. So some people use the word make. Um, I can't think of any other any other um, words really to use. You know, compensation might be one. Wage is is one we use in the UK. What's the wage of um, what's the wage? How much do I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this for now? So we've got these three: salary, how much do earn, how much do make. Okay, so we're going to search this United States. Um, and then we've got, obviously, the free terms that we chose, but we want to click on matching terms. And then here's matching terms, and we've got over 1 million keywords, total volume 32 million, and we've got loads of stuff in here. Now, first of all, I can see some, some articles here about calculators. I'm, I don't want to include calculators right now. It's a great idea for a, a link magnet or something, but I'm just going to exclude those keywords. Okay, so that brings us down to 31 million. And there's some very competitive terms in here. Nurse practitioner's, practitioner's salary, salary to hourly. Um, I'm going to re remove hourly as well. I just, I just don't think it's uh, necessary. All I want to see is keywords, different types of professions, and then the the salary or how much do make now what I want to do is see that there's a low DR in the top five so if I can see there's a something below DR10 in the top five that's a good indicator that there's some holes in the SERP you know that the SERP is looking a little bit um, you know a little bit weak in terms of authoritative sites so, you know, it's not just full of loads of job sites, not just full of loads of, uh, you know, these really big media sites that are just trying to go after every keyword. If we can see that there's a something below 10 in the top five, we might have an opportunity of ranking with a, with a very new site. So let's just do that. And that's dropped us down to 6,800 keywords. This is more manageable. Uh, total volume, 476. Okay. Now, keyword difficulty, I don't think is that good of a metric, but it does help with seeing, um, you know, weak spots in terms of links in the SERPs. 
Um, the authority of sites in the service is obviously a lot more important and a lot more realistic. You know, you could have an authority 100 ranking, uh, you know, authority 100s all rank in the top 10 with no links to it, to the pages. You know, you ain't got a chance of getting in, but keyword difficulty, that metric would, would kind of like suggest that you would, but still I'm going to use it because we've already got this metric in place. Keyword difficulty, I'm going to put up to 10. And now what we've got is 4,498 and a total volume of 328. Now I'm going to look at volumes from 100. And now we've got 737 keywords, total volume 196,000. This is a great amount of keywords to work from and a nice volume, especially to start. So let's have a look at some of the, um, some of the keywords here. So, cruise ship captain salary. Let's have a look at the SERP. Okay, so, how much cruise? Now? DR36, a DR4, second, backlinks. Quite a lot of backlinks for this top five, but then you've got Reddit in there and a Quora. Okay, how much do sperm donors make? That's an interesting one. Let's have a look at this SERP. It's DR79, top one, but then you've got a DR10, a DR2. Um, backlinks, top one's got one. There's a 13, 14, a zero. Looks pretty, pretty good, I think. Um... So have a look. Let's go. Let's see if we can find anything interesting. How much do lash text make? Okay. How much do lash text make? One thousand searches a month. And we've got like a recruiter site at number one at DR eighty seven. Then Reddit comes in second with no backlinks. Zip recruiter again. So they've got two listings in the top one. And then we've got like some kind of uh, some lash extension site. A DR10, 21 backlinks, indeed is in there. So yeah, I think it's, um, I think there's a lot of opportunities here, a lot of opportunities. So what I like to do, I like to use um, a cluster tool to get this list of keywords. You know, I'd export this and I'd put it into um, Cluster AI is a good one. Or you can use keyword Cupid and you run it through these tools and they'll give you the clusters and all clustering does it takes keywords that have got a similar SERP so keywords that have got the same intent for example um, you know for example some of these keywords will be the same merchant marine salary merchant marine salary you'd expect these to have the same kind of SERP so it will group it together and give you those keywords, the volume accumulated. So it's just a lot easier to work with when you've got your clusters. But IHF does, does have a clustering um, mechanism and it works okay. If you haven't got access to these other tools, it, you can use it, it's fine. Um, it keeps all your filters intact. So what what this has given us now is 600, filters, uh, 600 clusters. So this is 600 pages essentially. Um, and this, for example, how much do ice road truckers make? This cluster has seven keywords within it. And ice road trucker salary is one of them. So how much do ice road truckers make an ice road trucker salary? This clustering mechanism is telling us that that's the same keyword. That's the same intent. I would agree. So we're going to target all these keywords with one page. So what you can do is export this list and make sure you export in the keywords that go along with it as well because these need to go as secondary keywords to your writing team or to the AI tool that you um, that you use for this so you can use a an AI writing tool this this is more like a programmatic site but I think you know you can get away with using an AI writing tool to write something 
a little bit more descriptive and you can talk about the the career progression and what the career is so koala writer is one i've been playing around with i don't know if it's the best i haven't used many um but it, it seems to be okay now for this kind of site um i put the keyword in how much do ice road truckers make for this kind of site i'll, I'll do like a real short real real short um length of the article and yeah that's all you need basically um target keyword i don't think there's an option to do secondary keywords but you can you can give extra se sections or you can you can do out, outline editor and edit the outline so it includes the the secondary keywords if you're doing this one by one um so let's just say you are doing this one by one and you want to do this extra extra special okay so let's create the outline first for how much do ice road truckers make and the reason why we're doing this is because we want to make sure we've got these other keywords in the cluster so how much do ice road truckers make we need ice road trucker salary as one of the headings because that is another way that people are searching for this so i'm going to edit this to ice road truckers salary okay so now we've got both of the keywords in there and this introduction I'm going to change it to well I'm going to add the keyword how much do ice road truckers make so that it doesn't go off track and just start talking about ice road truckers people that are searching for this keyword they want to know how much ice road truckers make they don't need to have any other information and actually one second a good option in um in koala i didn't talk about this is to include key takeaways so key takeaways will give you the, the information that someone's searching for hopefully uh, straight away now i might have to do this again Okay, so I saw a trucker's salary and then how much do ice road truckers make? Okay, then I'm going to write the article. And yeah, so we see we see the salaries early on in the article, which is good. They do have a little bit of a, an intro here, which is a little bit of fluff, which maybe you can delete. This key takeaway just tells everyone what they need. I would even put this key takeaways at the start. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of fluff here, but actually, you know, factors affecting income, comparative analysis, yeah, ice rod truckers versus standard truckers, demand job outlook. Actually, it's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. So you can download that and you can post it to your, um, to WordPress or this does actually have a direct to WordPress publishing. Word count is 781, a little bit more than I do not expect for this kind of article, but yeah, Koala is good for this. Um, I'm sure every other AI tool, there's lots of them, will, will have the same um, features. Um, or, you know, failing that, you can use ChatGPT. It's, it's probably good enough. Um, but the way I would tackle this, sorry, is because there's 600 of them, unless I've got a lot of time on my hands or some VAs with a lot of time on their hands, I wouldn't go through that whole process. I'd use, I'd use the bulk option in Koala and just get them all written and worry about all the extra keywords later on. As long as I've got this data downloaded and saved in a spreadsheet, I can go in and optimise. I can use Query Hunter um, and I can do, do that later on. Um, the main names for this that are available right now as we speak on the 25th of Jan 2024, salarystat.com, I think is a great domain, really short, really nice, go for that, salarybible.com, it kind of gives the, the impression that you've got 
you know the 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 goods on anything to do with salaries um so go ahead and register those domains um you could then build some links to this website but i think going after these low 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 keywords um i think you should start ranking pretty soon um i would recommend doing like press release low-end links get a few blogger outreach niche edits to speed things along use indexing tools like index me now um and and there's url monitor and yeah and let me know how you got on with this niche website idea if you like this please like the video please subscribe let me know in the comments if you're going to do this idea and i'll speak to you soon